Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. And today, as you can see, another pop review. Now, I took it off my shelf just like the Stanley because I'm still not done with that big video I'm working on. I uh, still have to get something in. Um, so yeah, another pop review. Here we go. <laughs> uh, as you can see, Pop Star Wars number 308. This is a color and supreme leader, obviously based off of uh, The Rise of Skywalker. I actually got this for Christmas, uh, this past Christmas, if you remember. Um, obviously, beautiful sad art, actually. And then uh, on the other right side, you get that. Here's the back. You get all the other figures in the wave. Um, the Disney logo, Funko logo, stuff like that. Uh, the top of the box looks just like that. Bottom, nothing special. So yeah, I'm going to get this open, and I'll be right back once it's open. Now here he is actually out of the box, and um, I just thought it was worth mentioning that uh, he comes with this uh, card in the back that looks like that, and you can kind of stand it up with him, uh, as you can see there. Um, it's just a first order logo um, on a yellow background. Cardboard, just a piece of cardboard there, as you can see. Um, yeah, so he is obviously a bobblehead, so, you know, unlike the Stan Lee where it uh, was a swivel head, he has a bobblehead. You can kind of see the uh, spring in there. Uh... You can see the red marks of how he, where he uh, repaired his helmet in the Rise of Skywalker. I love this design, personally. Um, as you can see, it goes all the way around. Very nice detail, as you can see in there. And then, uh, sorry, I have a cold. <laughs> so, if I'm sniffling a lot, that's why. But you can see the uh, chainmail armor, obviously the, the spring in there for the bobblehead. And then uh, you have his lightsaber there, um, which looks really nice. Um, actually very accurate, and then you have this awesome cape in the back. I, I feel really nervous picking him up by the head. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, you can see the really cool cape. It's kind of a soft plastic, as you can tell. I can kind of move it, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's it's a little bit too hard, and it feels like it could break if you move it too much. But you do get this really nice, um, kind of glossy stand, which I've got fingerprints all over. If you can see, the glossiness doesn't really pick up as well on camera. Um, maybe if I can try to. Yeah, I don't know. But you do get the Star Wars logo there, which can, uh, definitely does pick up the glossiness there. And then, uh, obviously, just, it's just plastic. It's not, like, metal or anything. But you do get the, you know, there's the bottom there. Uh, pretty simple. There I am. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's really all there is with this figure. Um, um, I pre-ordered, or I'm going to be... Uh, be pre-ordering the Miles Morales game, so when that comes in in a couple weeks, um, I'll be doing an unboxing of that and a review. It's actually going to be on the PS4, not the PS5, because I'm not going to be getting a PS5 till um, early next year because I wasn't able to get a pre-order in. So yeah, going to wait for that. So I got the PS4 version, but it is going to have a PS5 upgrade available. So uh, yeah, and by the way, I just want to say they're fifty dollars now, which is odd, but I'm not complaining. So yeah. That's it for this uh, review. Uh, stay tuned to the next video. And uh, thanks for watching. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Goodbye.